Hi everyone, welcome to the best of guy, uh, ZAD series from IMS. Let's have a look at the next question from ZAD 2021. Now here they have told us it's a question on ratios or small equation, linear equation, something like that. Mr. Jose buys some eggs. After bringing the eggs home, he finds two to be rotten and throws them away. So whatever eggs he bought, out of that two were rotten, he throws them away. Of the remaining eggs, he puts five ninth in the refrigerator or in the fridge and brings the rest to his mother's house. She cooks two eggs again and puts the rest in her fridge. Please remember there are two refrigerators that they are talking about, one at Mr. Jose's house and one at the mother's house. If a fridge cannot hold more than five eggs, that means the maximum capacity is five eggs for the mother's fridge. What is the maximum number of possible eggs bought by Mr. Jose? So how would you start this question? You know, Let us talk about two approaches for this question. Uh, one approach is I would have used options and one is maybe putting out a variable. So, he has he has found two eggs to be rotten and after that he puts 5 ninth in the refrigerator. So, start with let the total number of eggs be 9 x plus 2. Now, this was a very important step. Once you understood that you could start the total number of eggs with 9 x plus 2, two eggs were rotten. That means remaining were how many? 9 x, two were rotten. So, now from these remaining 9 x eggs which are there, he puts 5 ninth in the refrigerator. So, how many does he put in the refrigerator? 5 ninth of 9x will be 5x will be put in the refrigerator. So, how much does he take to the mother's house? So, he takes to the mother's house 4x eggs. Out of which the mother is cooking how many eggs? 2x. So, the remaining will be 4x minus 2 which the mother will put in the refrigerator which has to be less than or equal to 5 because the maximum eggs the mother's refrigerator can hold is 5x. So, this has to be less than or equal to 5. So, 4x has to be less than or equal to 7 which means x has to be less than 7 by 4. Now, understand we are talking about number of eggs. So, the value of x cannot be a decimal value. So, x has to be less than 7 by 4. 7 by 4 is 1 point something. Now, if it is less than 1 point something, the only possible value for x will be 1. Now, you know, this is where students get confused in that. Lot of people would do all this right and still not get the question right. Looking at words like at least, less than, greater than, inequalities becomes a very, very important topic for that. So, always do that topic really well. So, we have got x is equal to 1. Just put it over your total number of x will be 9 into 2 plus 1, uh, sorry, 9 into 1 plus 2 that will be 9 plus 2, 11 x and answer is the third option. This is one approach of doing it. I could have done one more approach which was directly option. Let us try and have a look at that approach too. If you are going to take this ZAT and are wondering what exactly to do over the next few days, we have a very special video for you in which we have discussed the pattern of the test, the sectional cutoffs, the preparation strategy and the attempt strategy. You can visit the video by clicking on the i button above or from the link in the description box below. Happy learning. Let us have a look at the next approach for the same question. Now, we should realize for the second approach that the total number of eggs had to be in the form of 9x plus 2. Once I know the total number of eggs have to be in the form of 9x plus 2, 9 and 17 are out of the question because 9 is not in the form of 9x plus 2, neither is 17. Now, the three options left are 11. 20 and 29. Now, what I would do because there was a restriction of not holding more than 5 eggs, I would start always with the middlemost option. Let us say 20. If I take let 9x plus 2 be 20, right, that means the total number of eggs are 20. Let us do the whole calculation that way. 20 eggs were there, 2 were rotten, so 18 were remaining. How much is 5 ninth of 18? 10 eggs, 10 eggs were kept in the fridge by Jose which means number of eggs left is 8, out of which the mother will cook 2 eggs. So, 8 minus 2, 6 eggs are remaining and this eggs cannot go in the refrigerator because the maximum capacity is 5, hence 20 cannot be the answer. Now, think logically, if 20 is not the answer, 29 also cannot be the answer because with 29, more eggs will be left over, simple answer has to be 11. On the worst side, you want to be extra sure, you can just check with 11. 11 eggs at the start. How many eggs were spoiled? 2 were spoiled, so remaining are 9. 5 ninth go into the refrigerator, so 5 go into the refrigerator, 4 are remaining. Out of 4, she cooks 2, 
So 4 minus 2, 2 are left which can easily go in the refrigerator. This is less than 5 and hence my answer is 11. A very, very straightforward way of doing it. This was very, very easy. Means even on the worst side, if you had not realized 9x plus 2 and if you had started with 9 by putting 2x out, out of 9 if 2x was spoiled, 7, you cannot find 5 ninth of that and you would have easily eliminated first two options. So very simple way of doing this question and you could have easily done this method.